Hello, everybody. Welcome back to the Girls That Get It podcast with your hosts, Ken and Han. We're back with another episode, but today's episode is not your usual episode of the Girls That Get It, okay? We are bringing it back to something that we've done on our channel several times, and that is we are playing the game We Are Not Really Strangers. Um, I'll let Kenna kind of explain the game because she's the one who found it. So go ahead, Ken. Tell them what it is all about. Yes. So I originally founded this account on Instagram. They were just... You founded? You founded the account? (laughs) I realized as I said that, that's why. I didn't know you were the creator. (laughs) I found... I found this. I figured if I committed, maybe no one would notice, but clearly you should be noticed. making millions if you founded it. No, I would love to make a brand like it. And my senior thesis was inspired by it. So shout out. We're not really strangers. Um, I found this account on Instagram because everyone in New York was reposting all their like aesthetic grid motivational quote grid post feed whatever and at the time they had like under 10,000 followers and now they're this mega empire with like millions but basically they're what got them started is um this card game called we're not really strangers and there are three levels of questions um that basically help you get to know who you're playing with and the idea is that you can build a genuine connection with anyone no matter how well you know them and there's always more to Mm -hmm. learn about the people that you claim to know or be really close in your life so over Mm -hmm. quarantine i got it and hannah and i played it we also have several youtube videos on the ken and han channel playing the original version um limited edition version versions that we've like continued to get over the years and it's just a great Mm -hmm. conversation maker so we're here to bring it to you today and obviously if you watch Hannah's vlogs you would see oh it wasn't in the vlog anyway it wasn't you're right I thought I'm like wait yeah it was no it wasn't um Kenna gave this to me for my graduation gift and it's it's the friendship edition they have like a bunch of different versions and editions and they have the relationship pack the this pack that pack, there's like a self-love the pack there's like a um like a healing pack i know she got me a collaboration with like some other business and mm-hmm. i don't even remember there was like a couple like smaller packs yeah. with that one um but yeah we're playing the friendship edition today and we figured it's fitting because we're besties this podcast is about friendship life love laugh okay um <laughs> live laugh love. so we're <laughs> peace so love, we're happiness. playing yeah, we're playing this today, and I have the honor of having the cards. So oh, get you guys! It. Every time, <laughs> like, there's we have three total. I guess four now. I have all three, mm-hmm. so I've always since we've done this majorly virtually, I've always mm-hmm. had the pleasure and privilege to read the questions first and decide <laughs> if I want to answer them. I feel like I've done a decent job of just like letting it rip and not letting hold it happen. Back. But um, yeah. I don't. I have no idea what's coming. I have never read these, and I'm not okay with I it. I have not. I have not read them either, though. I did not cheat. I did not go behind anybody's back. I, she watched me. I, here's the plastic. Yeah, she did just open them. I, I just opened it, and I, I only witnessed. read one card. Um, and I'm not. We're not gatekeeping because I'm gonna ask you it as the first question. Um, no, but you I read will two. read the. Oh, the one on the back doesn't count. Yeah, we're not answering that one. You read that one too, so I know, but that's not a public sherry answer. Well, that's why we. That's why it's on the back. I, mean, I would decline this one. <laughs> Anyway, so this one, I'll read the little, like, description of um, this box and then kind of tell you what each level contains, and then we'll get into the questions. So it says, our friends are the people who get us, who ground us, who hold a mirror up to us when we can't see ourselves clearly. Wow, that's really good. Um, It says, like any relationship, our friendships need to be maintained with intention and care. Whether you grew up together or found each other recently, there is always more to learn and love about the people you are closest to. I feel like I'm reading a book to like I, was, my I just took like, a picture because it looks like you're reading me a bedtime story. <laughs> really? I feel like I'm a teacher. I'm like, okay, class. Now, Johnny went to the mm-hmm. apple farm and he picked like, okay. And then it says ready? Question mark. No. Yes, we ready. <laughs> um, so basically the rules alternate asking and answering each question, starting with level one all the way up to level three. Honest answers only. You hear that? Honest answers only. I okay. would like to consider myself a truther. I'm not saying you ain't. I'm just I'm just letting the fans know. Honest answers only, okay? Um, so level one is perception, and it says level one is about gaining perspective on how your friend sees you. It's also a test of how well you know each other. Oh, I don't and like then it. <laughs> and then it says 
answer with the first response that comes to mind. If guests incorrectly, feel free to reveal the actual answer. Oh, so I guess like the questions that are about like, what do you think about this of me? And then you say your answer. If it's wrong, I guess I can tell you. I don't really know how it could be wrong, though, if it's opinion. Based. It was, but I guess like, we'll just. I, I like get the, what they're saying. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, okay, so then level two, connection. It says, who are you really? This round is about asking the rarely asked questions and connecting on a deeper level. Oh, my gosh. Rarely asked. I'm scared. Yeah, right. Let's, I'll believe it when I see it. And then level three, reflection, and is the last level, and it says time to reflect on your game experience. So those are the three levels, and that is basically the structure of the game. It's pretty simple um, and self-explanatory. So I guess let's just get right into it. We're going to do a few questions each, alternating back and forth. Um, and yeah. hopefully y'all will get to know us and our friendship a little better, and hopefully we get to know each other better. <laughs> What, though, what do we not know? I don't know. I was going to say, even though every time we play this, I'm like, okay, we know everything. But then somehow, I don't know. You, always, might... you never know everything. Don't no, get don't. too so comfortable, here... sweetheart. Here we go. Level one. If you're watching on YouTube, you can see me holding the card. I'm about to read read the question. All right. So, Kenna. <laughs> what is what? <laughs> this isn't even bad. I don't know why I'm laughing. Okay, What's one small detail you remember about the first time we met? Um, well, the I don't first even know. memory I have of you, I've said it before, is when we were in Miss Casbeer's mm -hmm. chemistry class. If I'm not mm -hmm. mistaken, that pink book bag, that's quite literally pink and the brand pink. That mm -hmm. was your book bag in high school, right? I literally still have it. That's the book bag I used all throughout college. Right. That's why, like, every time I, well, now I view that as, like, her overnight bag because when she comes spend the night, that's what she brings. And she puts mm -hmm. her little soap in the pump that spills on my bed, but I won't get into it. And <laughs> What? <laughs> Let's, okay. Um, I remember that because you would, like, walk in and then her back was, to, where I was located in class, like, I could only see her from behind, so... I saw her like mm -hmm. walk in and put her backpack down and then s sit. And then there's two other things that I remember. I remember you had your like really, really, really long hair, mm -hmm. like down to her butt almost. Maybe that's an exaggeration, mm -hmm. but like compared to what it is now, it was, long. It was, it was long. long. And then um, if you've listened to our first episode or like a true homie, you know that we danced together and I remember mm -hmm. for the first time seeing you come in wearing your like maroon spirit jersey that mm. said small but by small but mighty because that's the little logo. And this was before I mm -hmm. had joined. And I was like, that cheesy ass shit. <laughs> so I didn't even <laughs> I didn't know what Fox Troop was. I didn't realize it was a dance thing, but I was like, small but mighty. How the fuck? What? You're like, what is that even? Who I was like, also they? a spirit yeah. jersey. Are we? But hey, don't don't knock it till you try it because you tried it and then you. <laughs> And then you didn't knock it anymore. I still so. have mine. So same. But those are like the three things I remember: the pink book mm -hmm. bag, the hair, and then that's funny. Because that the yeah, first time pretty... we like met, I don't think we had like interactions. I don't think so either. Because I, I don't think there really was like a hi. I'm Kenna. I'm Hannah. Nice to meet you. It like was it... a mutual like I know who you are. You know who I am. Yeah, the because we went to the same school. Yeah, exactly. Okay, that's. Yeah, those are all true and funny because <laughs> I don't even – I don't think I have, like, a memory like that attached to you for when I first saw you because I was just like, oh, Ken is that popular girl next. You heard, I was like, about to say, you heard I'm not memorable? <laughs> that's what I heard. No, it's not even that. I just was like, she's popular. We're not friends. Okay, cool. Um, but this isn't my question to answer, so we're going to move on. <laughs> you said I would like to pass. I'm going to ask myself the next question. Yeah. <laughs> It says what? Okay, so I guess you would be saying this is hypothetically me asking, but since we're not together, she's gonna read it. For yeah, me. yeah. This is her asking me. What do you think I strongly dislike the most? Oh, what? What do you think I? Sorry. What do you think I strongly dislike that most people obsess over? Oh. What so do what you... do I think you strongly dislike? Yeah. Do you want me to repeat it so that it makes sense? Yes. So what yes. is something you think? that i strongly dislike that most people agree with okay yeah that most people obsess over um oh. the first thing that came oh to my i know mind... what you're gonna say i what go ahead i don't excuse skew your answers 
Well, are you going to say chocolate? Because that's not what I was going to oh, say. Oh, that's what I was going to say. No, I was going to say Chipotle because people are obsessed with Chipotle. And when I say people, I don't even mean me because I don't, I don't dislike or love it. Like, I'm just like, I'll eat it if I, I, but I'm not like crazy obsessed. But there are people, a majority of the people are like crazy obsessed with it. And I know you hate it. I really don't like it. Very, very much dislike. Like, you will not catch me going to Chipotle, like, ever. I will suggest everything under the sun before I go to Chipotle. <laughs> I know. Just I know. this I weekend, that... I had an instance with a Chipotle. This girl. Somebody suggested to go. Yeah. And she was so insistent on going to Chipotle. And she she pulled the whole, like, I don't really care where we go, but, like, was but also. But then she was like, we must go to Chipotle or I will die. Yeah. And so we were in Mayfair. So we were like, oh, like, everyone can get what they want and we can all meet at one place and eat. And she was like, no. And. <laughs> Thankfully, <laughs> we drove separately because I looked at Addy in the car next to me and I was like, are you willing to do something with me? Are you willing to team up here? Are we willing to go against <laughs> the alliance that has been formed? Um, That's funny. The reason why I don't like Chipotle is I've had it around three times and my mm-hmm. stomach feels absolutely queasy and afterwards, not yeah. afterwards. And I know a lot of people are like, oh, you just eat too much? Well, nah. I ain't, what you no. trying to say? The only thing I yeah, can have yeah. there consistently is just like chips and guac. I can't have like the well, meats with the flour and the nah. yeah, 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 yeah. So if I yeah. go, I'm getting no. chips and guac, and that's about it. <laughs> I, I like it. Like I'll, I'll go. I'll if it's like nearby and I'm start and I'm hungry, I'll go. I like it, but I'm definitely not obsessed. And I don't even think like I definitely could have gone deeper with that question, but that was literally the first thing that came to my mind. Oh, good. And I was like, no, Oh, I'm I know people obsess over it, and you hate it. It doesn't even register so. in my head as a restaurant. You say Chipotle, I have to remember. Oh, okay. You're like, what's that? We don't know her. Yeah, I, there's also so many mm-hmm. other faster Mexican chains that I would rather have. Yeah, like Mo's. You'd rather go. There I'd rather before. go to Mo's. I genuinely would rather go to a Taco Bell than a Chipotle. <laughs> Like, I'm so oh my God. dead serious. That's funny. I wouldn't, but that's funny. <laughs> like, and also, in Wilmington, you first, if you're going Kenna to Chipotle, Chipotle over islands, like, we Don't you questions. dare ever try to take her to Chipotle, because if you do, you will feel her wrath. Okay, so the next question I will be asking you, and it is, I'm curious what you're going to say about this. Hmm. What do you think I'm sensitive to? Oh, um, the first even... thing that came to mind is sometimes when you receive like negative feedback, you then bring up other negative feedback. Sometimes you wait. They didn't ask what, what, what my faults are. They said, what am I sensitive to? <laughs> well, Not... that's what I'm saying. I'm <laughs> saying because you're sometimes sensitive to negative information, well, then you could say that's how you cope with it. And okay, negative. It. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, you're like, prime you're an example. example. Prime example. You said you weren't coming for me and you're coming for me. I didn't think I was trying to I'm be open kidding. and honest. No, no, go ahead. Say, say what you're going to say. I want to hear it. You just dug your grave on that one. Cause no, I didn't. Prime that's example. Okay. Um, yeah, sometimes, and I, this isn't everyone thing, but when you hear something you don't want to hear, sometimes. It gets you a little upsetty spaghetti, which I don't think is a bad or a good thing. It's just what mm-hmm. you're sensitive over. Oh, also, like, anyone, specifically men in your life, I feel like you're very, like, protective over. That's I don't know if that take. falls under sensitive, but, like... You mean, like, boyfriends your brother, or, like... Your boyfriend. But, like, specifically men in your life, I feel like you're protective over. Hmm interesting and i don't mean just boyfriends i mean like but that's just my perspective as an outsider yeah maybe people you just care about in general but i specifically see it with the guys maybe because there are less guys in your life so you're a little extra i don't mean any of this in a bad way i'm just no i know i'm just two things that came to mind i would have met i don't think i've ever heard that like anytime someone well yeah anytime someone comes from like comes for like sam or al you go for that well yeah i was gonna stand up for my brother and my man why wouldn't i i know but it's a sensitive topic that's what i'm saying like i would hope no one's that my brother have differing opinions 
on things. Well, you can have different opinions, but if you shot fires at my family, I'm going to shot fires back. Well, <laughs> sure, sure, sure. I'm not disagreeing with that either. I'm just saying, like, things that you, I don't know. Yeah, I'm I don't know either. <laughs> That's okay. I'm not offended. I'm just curious. I didn't mean, like, I didn't mean either of those in a bad way. I just, and I'm not saying in, like, defending is bad because that's not what i was saying i was just saying more like i was thinking about that thing we were just talking about she said cut the cameras we gotta go <laughs> that's what i pulled it from wait what thing we were just talking about? oh oh me yeah i'm, done. I'm literally done yeah oh, that's well, what made me think as that. i should uh-uh don't make me expose i'm not dis- <laughs> exactly exact <laughs> exactly no i'm saying my reaction is justified in that but that's just me. oh i'm not disagreeing i'm i'm just break <laughs> as a third party i was asked the question and i'm trying to answer <laughs> okay we'll move on <laughs> okay um okay I don't like that you can't ask me. Can you read this? No, it's too pixelated. You can Ew. send it in the chat. I'm throwing Like, tomatoes. go to the chat feature and send it to me. Oh, you? I have to type it out? That's my thing. I don't know. That's the only thing I saw. Or you can send that's, a picture. That's okay. I'll just read it. Um. Okay, okay. So this is you asking me. Imagine... I'm going to switch the I's and the U's. So I'm imagining that you just woke up from a crazy night out. Where did you end up? What do you regret? Okay. So my so question can for a, you. Can a, yeah. So I, I text I, Hannah. I had a crazy night out. I got a little drunk. Where do you think I ended up? And what do you think I did? <laughs> uh, mm, okay. Where did you end up and what do you regret? Huh? I don't know that you would regret anything, to be honest, because maybe the only thing I would maybe say is that like drinking too much or something. Cause, oh, that's a good one. Because that's the only I don't think that I don't think any actions you would have done because of getting drunk or because of this person or this event. I don't think you'd be like, oh, I regret doing that. I think you'd be like, I should shouldn't have drank that much. I had one too many. <laughs> Like, that's what I think you would regret. I feel... Okay. But where I think you ended up... From a crazy night out? I mean... Either <laughs> at a man's house or... At... At a man's house. A party that you weren't expecting to be at and then suddenly stumbled upon. Like, I feel like that's a classic one that's happened to you, like, once or twice. Oh, yeah. Just, the like, after, after stumbling party. into some random place and you're like, wait a minute. who Whose party is this? Wait a dang second. What is this? Yeah. So I would either maybe say like a yeah. some dude's house or a party. And then you'd be like, I shouldn't I drink both. that much. You'd be like, I shouldn't drink that much because A, I'm hungover and B, my tummy and C, what the heck? <laughs> yeah, definitely the drinking one because I just, when I commit, I commit. And I've done a lot, a better job recently of not pushing myself too far it's just because i have such a low tolerance compared to my peers mm-hmm. um but yeah i would i would say those are valid at certain points in my life um i tend to always like to know where i'm going to sleep at the end of the night but yeah kind of what well, you're I- saying with like sometimes i end up going to like a party or a different friend's house and then things escalate and that's where yeah, yeah, Thanks yeah. Or change. even even you'll eventually end up home after all of that, but it's like from the from the bars closing to the point that you got yes. home at five AM, what happened between those three hours? It's not an A to B destination. Yeah, yeah. exactly. Okay. I'll give you that. Cool. I'll give you that one. I would agree. Okay, so that was two each from level one. Should we go to level two or should we do one more each? Um, let's go to level two. Okay. Because I think the first... We're about at 20 minutes, I think. 13 minutes plus 7 minutes. Yeah. Yeah. So, okay. Level 2. Level 2 is connection. This one is about... I forgot. Connecting on a deeper level, I guess. (laughs) Um, Yeah. So, this is going to be me asking you. Because I just answered where you would end up after a crazy night out. So, me... Right. This is some tea. It could be some tea. (laughs) I don't know. Oh, no. I gotta go. Okay, level two. First question. 
What are you still processing? <laughs> oh. Um, it's not the thing that you would think. I'm good. I'm Gucci. Okay. Ben Gucci. I know what happened. I've rationalized it. I'm good. Uh-huh. Emotions have been processed. Um, I think the biggest one is that I'm not quite where I thought I would be at this time in my life. Mm-hmm. Um, as well as just the reality of what being in your 20s looks like. Mm -hmm. It is this huge puzzle piece. And I thought I had all the right pieces that were going to fit together. But currently I've got pieces that don't don't even belong in this puzzle. Okay. Mm. Um, And I'm colorblind and I can't seem to get them the patterns to align. (laughs) Um, That's a big analogy for just, I don't know. I still figuring out life and I'm so young and um, in so many ways taking on a lot and like, the next mm-hmm. chapters are so fun and exciting, but like career wise specifically, also financially, um, still have a lot of college debt, still mm. am actively looking for my full time job and trying to make money on the side while I can. Mm-hmm. Um, that definitely I'm still processing. I'm also still processing the, the backlash of COVID. And I think that gets swept under the rug a lot. Mm-hmm. Um we spent an entire two years inside. Hmm. I didn't yeah. get a college grad. Like, um, mm-hmm. hello. This time last year, we were just sitting inside twiddling thumbs. Yeah. And now life's normal again. I mm-hmm. still forget that happened. And people, and I guess to tie it all together, people look at me now and they're like, oh, why don't you have a job? And I'm like, do you not realize the past two years has not, it's not normal? Yeah. Yeah. It's not, and that's not an excuse. I should have a job. Not defending them at all but let's take a look at larger global problems that we're hmm. still dealing with like literally just today a friend of mine told me she got covid last week it yeah that's that sucks but yeah i, I, I think the people main for, one i feel like everybody forgets that covid was a thing now that things are like going back to more normal it's like wait that right. happened <laughs> yeah and i'm thankful it is going back to normal but i think just not with the result of that as well as how life has unfolded for everyone these past two years not being where i thought i would be and it being Mm -hmm. more challenging mentally um would be my the thing that i'm still processing because i genuinely do deal with it every day yeah 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 yeah. that's valid okay good answer um is that what you thought i would say then kind of but not no not entirely i thought you would touch on it but i didn't think that was the main point okay um Okay, so you are asking me, what is the hardest part about making new friends for me? Oh, okay. Han, what's the hardest part about making new friends for you specifically? Yes, that was verbatim what the question says, so good job. Um, Thanks. Let's see. Mm, Well, probably right now it's that – and even – this was even before I technically graduated because none of my classes were online. It's probably that I don't have like a community of people who are my age or have similar interests that is like at hand that I can like reach out to people and find people um, that I like could befriend because I, I'm not going to, I, well, I graduated college, so I'm not going into class. And even this last semester, I didn't go into class at all because it was all online. And I just work at a retail store with five coworkers and all of them are way older than me, except for one who is way younger than me. Um, so I don't have like a hobby or a school setting or a work setting or a community setting where it's like just easy to be like, hey, let's be friends. Hey, we're doing this together. So we'll be friends. It like to make friends, I would have to actively go out of my way to do it, which I guess that's life and that kind of is how it is even when you do have those communities but it makes it easier because you have a place to look whereas like now I'm like I gotta go look on the streets like what like 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 I gotta go up to people at Mm -hmm. bars and ask them to be friends like what is this I don't just have a classmate that I can look over to and make a friendship or I don't have like colleagues at work that I am close in age or have similar interests that we can like start hanging out outside of work and like have all that so probably just like the lack of lack of like one place or area to look for 
which will come in time whenever I do get a job or whenever I do like find where I'm going to be living and start participating in things within the community, whether that's a for fun softball team or a yoga class or a whatever it might be. I don't even think I would do it. Well, I maybe would do yoga, but definitely not softball, but you know what I'm saying? Yeah, for sure. So that's, it comes with time. That's probably, I get your point. The, the main Valid. thing. Also, like, it's really weird sometimes to just be like, Hey, want to be friends? Like it's not, it yeah. shouldn't be, but it's sometimes hard. And like people, you don't want to be rejected. So you don't want to just like, it's hard to figure out how to be like, it's like asking somebody on a date, but not. It's like, that's, right, right. For sure. You trying to chill or what? Like, you want to be friends or what? Right. And there's that moment. It's like, we're strangers, but like, we could become close. Exactly. 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 So, probably that's that. a good answer and very valid. And I know you're not the only one in this world that feels that. Yeah. Especially with not. technology these days. Everyone. It's not what it used to be where like you talk and make conversation casually. It's yeah. like, okay, I know my people. I'm just going to text them. Exactly. Exactly. So that's probably it. Um, okay. Next question. This Next one is question. for... <laughs> this one's for you. Um... Of course it is. <laughs> I'm oh, dead. Of course it is. <laughs> oh, I'm so glad I didn't get oh. this question. <laughs> is this... <laughs> what? No. Um, we will do... Okay, I'm going to ask you this question, and I think we should talk about the most recent scenario. Oh, I don't like it. <laughs> I don't Did, like it. Because we're not going to talk. Yeah, we're going to talk about the most recent one. <laughs> Did you have any thoughts about my ex that you didn't voice at the time? Most recent ex. You know oh. who that is. Did you have any thoughts? Did you have any? Did you have any, th- did you have any thoughts about him? Oh, at the, I would at love the- for you to answer this question. Yeah, that's why I'm not. Did you have any thoughts about him that you didn't voice at the time? Like while we were dating that you were about like about mm. him. Yeah. It says, did you have any thoughts about my ex that you didn't voice at the time? Yeah. No, genuinely. No. Damn. I know that's not juicy. You sure? Um, I do remember feeling towards the end. I could just see as a third party um, specifically like just together. I noticed a change in things and I just wanted you both to be happy. And I'm happy that you're both happy again now lame sorry lame. i didn't it's have fine. beef with him i know i know i know you didn't but i, I didn't, didn't know, if- know it was coming i was more shocked than you yeah like, <laughs> i mean neither did i but that it's not even i don't even the well, day I guess it you, happened i guess you i was like no nah, it's not happening and you were like mm-hmm. it's happening and i was like i didn't oh. even know it was happening until i opened the door and then i was like oh i know but i remember is. when you were like what does this mean i was like that's not what that means like oh yeah well no, I. You know, when you read that, that's no. never good. <laughs> when they say we need oh, to I talk, no, it wasn't good. I just didn't think it was that. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. So you had no thoughts about um, him, though, of the whole, however many years it was that we dated. No, no thoughts. No, even to this day, are we have like? I don't. I didn't know him like you knew him. Like I've known him since the sixth grade. Him and I have always been chill, but like, the stuff that I could know. Or like what I've had an opinion on isn't enough to be like, I knew what he wanted me to know. Ba- that's all I can say. Like, mm-hmm. and you get that. Mm-hmm. Okay. What, well, like, what fine. do you, what, do what I should what? I, what do you want me to say? Nothing. I be, I don't know any, oh. I don't, there's nothing I knew, there's nothing I know or knew that I expected you to say. I just didn't know if you had like any thoughts that you never said because like we were all friends and you like didn't want to stir the pot or like thought anything of any like about a way he handled anything or i don't freaking know freaking know oops (laughs) no okay Mm -mm. that's fine i'm a little disappointed but that's okay i didn't expect you to have anything good but i just thought that was funny that you of course yeah i'd love you to answer this question well too bad that's not how we're playing so next question um (laughs) oh no okay this one you know what the internet doesn't need to know yeah, that's also true. Um, okay, <laughs> you are asking me to rate my happiness level at my current job on a scale of 1 to 10. What would make it one point higher? Okay, Hannah, if you had to rate your happiness at your current job on a scale of 1 to 10, what would it be? And what would you need to make it one point higher on that scale? <laughs> 
considering that's a, okay just, awful question i know it's a bad question because one it's a bad question and two i don't have a jo- oh, i have a job but it's just a it's a i work part-time at a shoe store so i'm not in my career or like doing what i want to do full-time for the rest of my life so it's hard to answer on that level um so i'll say like an eight probably because one oh that's high oh well, i mean it's a part-time job and it for for a part-time job it's a 10 for it's a 10 out of 10 because my manager is extremely cool and really nice and very flexible he literally always accommodates what i want with my schedule when i'm working he doesn't even feel like a manager like obviously we're all on our on our ish and we're not messing around and like we get stuff done but he's really easy to talk to he's really cool like i don't feel like intimidated around him or like i can't be myself or i have to be like a a work persona like i literally just act like my normal self and he's cool um so as far as like the people i work with are great my schedule is great the management is great so for a part-time job 10 out of 10 the only reason it's an eight out of 10 is because it's not my dream job it's not what i want to be i'm only doing this in the interim between call it well i was doing it in college and then now i'm doing it until i find a full-time job so to make it one point higher, I guess I uh, <laughs> need it to be a different job. <laughs> I don't know. Get a raise. I don't know. Um, That's a but, valid answer. Which actually it's funny because we just did our like quarterly reviews and we all got raises. So I guess I did get a raise, hey. but not nothing, nothing she crazy. I need more. <laughs> yeah. No, it's fine. <laughs> um, so yeah, I, that's so hard to answer because it's not my full time thing, but for but for a part time thing, I mean, it's your job now. It is my job, and, and you've worked there for a good chunk of time. Yeah, yeah. So I, I'll say eight out of ten. Yeah, sure. That's I mean, cool. that's a high. I hope. I think most people strive to have an eight out of ten feeling about going to work. I think most people it's a lot lower. Yeah, yeah. Well, it so helps. the fact you have that's pretty good. Yeah, yeah. It helps because all the people are really cool. Um. Okay, that was four. I guess yeah. Now we're at twenty. Are we on level three? We... Yeah. No. Yeah. I feel like we're was... just scratching the surface here. No, that was one. T- we say this every time we play. One, two, three, four. That was two each. One, two, three, four. You guys, is it just me? Comment down below <laughs> if you just feel like we're just getting into the tea. Well, because like... technic tech, like right now, this um, video is well, like forty. Uh, 40 minutes approximately no. well it's at 21 and we recorded 13 so almost like 37 should we do like another round of level two um i, feel like I they don't were know juicy. okay well you Here, decide. If, if the next question is juicy then we'll do it if it's lame oh. then we won't. <laughs> sure this is not juicy okay next thank you next level three thank you next thank you all right so i will be asking you level three reflection this is us reflecting on our time even though i feel like we literally just started um that's okay Mm, that's why i don't like it wait what i'm confused (laughs) i don't like that it's going by this fast i want more tea i need to know all the answers to all the questions i don't understand this question that i just picked up i'll read it oh i guess Okay, well, if this is, it just says, thank thank you for being, it's not a question, so I guess that's why I'm confused. It says, thank you for being understanding of my blank. So I guess you would fill in the blank of, oh, like, what you thank me for being understanding of. You know what it is. <laughs> Probably, I don't know. <laughs> I might be wrong. I tend to be wrong when I think you're going to say something and then you don't. No, I was going to say thank you for being accepting of my stubbornness. Oh, see, not what I thought you were going to say. But what I guess you it kind think of relates. I was going to say? Girl, I don't know. I'm not going to be airing out your laundry on here. <laughs> <laughs> well, I tie this in because my biggest downfall, my chair is <laughs> currently sinking. Hold on. Mm-hmm. Um, and something that Hannah has had the gracious pleasure of dealing with recently. Mm-hmm. Um, I give some great advice. <laughs> I know what I should be doing. I know how I should be handling things, but sometimes I, don't, I don't want to, and I don't do advice. what I would advise other people to do. 
Um, yeah. Because like everyone, I think I'm different. I think my situation will be different when I guarantee you in six months from now, I'll tell her she's right. But sometimes you got to let them go through that the time of being silly. Mm-hmm. So that's that. I, I guess so, that fits in, actually. That's kind of what I thought you would say. Mm-hmm. Yeah. <laughs> I'm not taking Hot. my own advice. The facts. Yeah. Yep. True. Okay. Because it's got to be so annoying to listen to me vent, complain, whatever, about whatever situation I'm going through to know that I know what to do, but then watch me be like, nah, I ain't going to do it. I ain't going to do it. It's not even annoying. I'm just like, you silly goose. Like, you already know. So why are you telling yeah. me this? Like, not Let's, why are you telling me this? Because tell me right. everything. But like, you you know the answer. Yeah. Yep. Yep. You got the answers. You just, <laughs> do you want to do, do it or not? <laughs> right. Right. Uh, it's so funny because she'll be like, I know you're going to do what you want to do, but like... <laughs> But yada, 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 yada. And then you're like, yeah, I know. You're like, I know I should do that, but I'm not gonna. But thank you. And I'm like, yeah, yeah you're so welcome. At least okay. I, I think I was strong in the grand scheme of things. Mm hmm. <laughs> yeah, yeah. I don't know why I'm laughing. That makes it seem sarcastic. It's, yeah, it's I was not. gonna say. No, it's not. Um, okay, next question. So this would be you are asking me, when was the last time. I had a big win. Oh. And how can we celebrate? Oh, I know what you're going to say. Hannah, when was the last time you had a big win? And what can we do to celebrate? Are we going to say graduation? Well, that's what I thought you were going to say. It's your I mean, question, yeah, that's, man. That's what I thought. When I say, are we going to say that? No, that's what, yeah, that's what I would say. I mean, I literally... We morph. And- I graduated a week and a day ago. And so that's pretty fresh. And that's pretty much the biggest win I've had. Um, in the last so that's it for me in the last couple couple whiles uh so yeah the the last the big what well, the last time i had a big win was a week ago when i graduated and how can we celebrate well we already did um and we went out so that's we're playing this game right now it's yeah, a celebration true because this game was a gift so that's what we're doing you're welcome you're Thank welcome you. <laughs> I, don't, I truly wasn't expecting this either like i i don't know what i was expecting but oh, I, I thought it was so this. obvious. I was like, oh, she's got to know. It literally wasn't. I wasn't even thinking. Uh, nope. It fully, I wasn't even, I was not, I was very surprised. I was not thinking on this yeah. wavelength at all. I was also trying to be original. Yeah, I was original. It was good. Thanks. Thanks. Appreciate it. Okay. Next question for you. Well, I guess technically last question for you, but I feel like we haven't even. We got to go back and ask more. <laughs> I know. I know. Okay. I need more. I need more juice and I'm participating. <laughs> okay. I feel like you've had some soft cards. Hey, it's not me. It's the way the cards are unfolding. I'm I'm Mm -hmm. picking them out in order. I'm not shuffling. I'm not reading before. I'm not doing nothing. Um, Sure. I'm not. I know. This is a good one. Okay, listen up. Class, (laughs) listen up. (laughs) When do you feel closest to me? What are we doing? Oh, this is cute. Isn't it? Um. (laughs) What? (laughs) <laughs> it's in the darkness of Irks the night. Of the night. I knew it. <laughs> <laughs> it's those late night FaceTime calls. Um, sometimes in tears, sometimes not. I feel like anytime your homies or your friends turn to you like at their lowest point and they're like, I don't care if my mascara is running. I don't care <laughs> if you're going to use what I say against me for the rest of my life. I don't care <laughs> that I'm bawling my eyes out and you cannot make the words like you cannot tell what I'm saying, but I'm still going to call you because one, I know you'll pick up and two, I know you'll be there. Mm-hmm. Um, that's I feel like that's the greatest honor in someone's life is truly being that kind of friend to someone. And we've definitely had our share of those moments. Mm. Mm. lord Um, knows we have obviously at different times yeah (laughs) there's many any and i will say i feel like i'm the one many people call in those late hours because they know i'm up Mm -hmm. um which and that's not to discredit when she calls me because i think i typically answer um yeah but yeah i would say definitely our late night facetimes late night combos or just like we said it once and we'll say it again when we facetime we don't even say stuff half the time we're just there for a good three four five hours <laughs> just like what's up <laughs> yeah. yeah i also think um when we hang out i like that we there's not like pressure to like do anything like sometimes mm-hmm. hanging out is just going to sit at the other person's house and yeah. like chat and loki we all we do is have like the same conversations over and over but it's like <laughs> someone like it's like a companion in a way yeah yeah like we've we continuously still talk in circles 
Yeah, that's funny. A that's little bit. True. There's obviously stuff that comes. Right, right, right. I'd say right. that. Okay. Also, like, I sometimes feel like I can provide you wisdom. Hmm. And not all the time, but sometimes. Mm-hmm. I feel like my wisdom's running out. But <laughs> She said it's running thin. I gotta it's go experience to be... <laughs> new things. Yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah. That's good. But I okay. always appreciate, or I value when, like, you ask for advice. Whether you take mm-hmm. it or not, I'm like, oh, she at least trusts me. Yeah, 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 yeah. Or That's be cool. like, yeah. Okay, cool. <laughs> <laughs> I love That's writing. Right. I love writing That's the questions. Right. No, no, this is a good one. It's not even juicy. It's just, um, it's funny. Um, Okay, so you are asking me. What inside joke of ours will never stop being funny? <laughs> okay, bestie. What inside joke of ours will never stop being funny? Well, okay, I'm going to say more than one because All obvious, of them. obviously the one that we don't know what you said and it was the funniest thing ever. We've already talked about this on the podcast, but if you didn't hear it, long story short, uh, me and Kenna were hanging out with a group of friends. Everybody was kind of <laughs> talking um somebody said something and then kenna just like literally roasted the like living bleep out of somebody in our friend group it was all yeah. lighthearted, but it was literally the funniest thing ever and we don't remember what she said <laughs> to this day but we can't stop laughing about it anytime we think about it um and part of the joke is that it might not even have been that funny but we just remember it as being like groundbreaking in comedy like it was so funny so probably that because yeah. we always laugh we literally always laugh when that comes up um or Hey boop is a good one. That one's always funny. Hey, That's a classic. Beep bop boop. Um, Beep bop boop. <laughs> people, <laughs> it was so funny. People never knew what that was from or got it. And someone used to think I was. They're like, "Why are you are you a robot? She's gone <laughs> robot again." And I'm like, "You're like you wouldn't get it. You know, if only you know." <laughs> yeah, um, those two. And then what's one fun and fresh one that we haven't talked about before? Inside joke of ours will never stop being funny. There's so many. Like I can't even like and subscribe because this is good. This is good. <laughs> yeah, that's good. <laughs> oh, honestly, I'm gonna stick it. I'm gonna stick with those oh, because um, what? <laughs> mm. Um, small bitches up front. <laughs> Oh no! I don't. <laughs> no, don't even explain it. Don't even explain it, because then it won't. <laughs> I won't. But oh yeah, that's yeah. That one's just good because we it's... gotta tell that story sometime eventually. But that's not a today story. But yeah, okay, I know. <laughs> that's a good one. Yeah, thank you for helping me. That's yeah, that's definitely a good one. You're welcome. Okay, so technically that's all the questions. Technically, um, right now we're at thirty-one minutes on the screen, thirteen minutes for the other one. So we're. At about 44 minutes. Um, I know you want to answer more. Should we just let this be a short episode and leave them wanting more? Or do we answer more questions? Or do we end it short and leave them wanting more? (laughs) (laughs) Maybe we leave it short and leave them wanting more. And leave them wanting more. Okay, that's kind of what I thought too. I know. Sorry, guys. I just want to like. Can we play after this? Yeah, maybe we'll see. Or should we do the next episode, part two? <laughs> part two. Should we? We could. We could should do that we? as like a. You mean the whole episode just be another? We're not really strangers, or yeah, why not? That was good. That was juice. Sure. Okay. Well, then end sure. this episode, and then we'll get on to. The next. All right, you guys. <laughs> Thank you so much for listening. As you can hear, and what you just heard. Um, we will be doing this again in the future. Maybe next episode, maybe not. We'll let you know. Uh, but be sure to like and subscribe and comment down below on YouTube if you liked it. Leave us a review in the Spotify and Apple I mm, Apple Podcast mm-hmm. platforms. Um, like and subscribe to our personal stuff at Atranzuli everywhere, at Kenicasso everywhere. We've been killing it on the tickety talkity recently, mm-hmm. specifically Hannah. Yeah, um, thanks. But that is all. We love you, and we will see you in an episode soon. Bye. Bye.